Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and in this video I will show you how to convert this boring and cheap IKEA desk chair into an awesome gaming station. Okay, so what is it all about? Well, it's a very simple design I made a very long time ago that allows me to connect various accessories to my IKEA Milberget desk chair, or however you read that. Um, the concept is that you have this trapezoid-ish shape and it allows for a quick and pretty stable mounting of these accessories. So what you do is simply slide it on like so. And then you're good to go. The model holds on the front of the armrest. Um, you simply put it through the space here. And then it's being squeezed on the other end with a M6 screw and a nut on the other side. Very simple design, yet works fine. Now I'm fully aware you guys don't have the same chair as I do. Uh, but this video is all about the concept, the idea of how you can make the, um, the these changes to, to make your gaming better. And th the thing is that the whole design itself is super simple. Um, so I'll put a sketch on the screen here as well as in the description. Um, and this, this gives you all the dimensions, etc. how you can design your own version of it. And, and to make it compatible with um, with the adapters that I made for, for my accessories or even make your own. Now let's look at what I'm mounting to my chair. First is Thrustmaster Hotas with the joystick on one side and the throttle on the other side. This works brilliantly, especially in Elite Dangerous when playing in VR because it's basically the same layout as in the virtual cockpit, which makes the whole experience extremely immersive. Next is a Thrustmaster shifter. It holds pretty well, but it's still only plastic, so there is a bit of flex. To be honest, I don't notice it much, especially when playing in VR, but your experience may vary. And also, if you're wondering what is this mod I have on my TH8, um, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be making a video about it shortly. There's also a button box I made for myself, and it allows a very nice access to the buttons due to the angled design. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Additionally, I have a mounting solution for my Logitech M570 trackball mouse. Um, it's mainly useful, again, when playing VR. The mouse always sits in one place and I just don't have to reach to my desk, so that's pretty convenient. And lastly, because these edges are a bit sharp and so I don't scratch my arms, I made this simple cover when I'm not playing games. But that's not all. I also made a side mount that's using the same concept, but is a bit lower. So I can use multiple accessories at the same time. For example, shifter and the button box, or a shifter and the trackball mouse. Lastly, a cherry on the top. I have these PlayStation 3 gamepad vibration motors mounted on the back of the chair on both sides 
and these are connected to SimHub ShakeIt. Um, in my setup, uh, they vibrate when I hit the carbs while, while racing. And trust me, it really feels awesome. I've been using this setup for almost two years now, and I absolutely love it. So I'm very curious what you guys think about it. Um, make sure to put a comment. All the stuff uh, that I showed, uh, so all the designs, are on Thingiverse, links, and the details again in the description. Okay, that's it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day. Bye.